Excellency, the Deputy President of this country, uh, to come and address us. You are excellent. Uh, thank you, PS. Please be seated. Um, of the Kenya Med uh, Methodist University and the presiding bishop. The women representative of Nyandarua. The principal secretary for State Department of Rosie Jinyambogwa. The transport managers, Nyandarua County Border Borders. Our esteemed and interact with the Rio Hustlers as we launch the border Yangu of this Yangu program for Nyandaro County. The transport managers training program will without a doubt uplift the Great initiative. It is a program worth scaling up across the country. Border border is a critical subsector of the economy of this country. Earning an average of a thousand shillings a day, there were one to the over 1.2 million riders. The riders here are represented by Magdalene Jerry. The advent and rapid rise of commercial However, if we train these people, we can realize and make them a very good transport industry. Your Excellency, we can go as much as possible ensuring that our health centers are working. However, if of our country from the bottom, in this we don't reduce the accidents. We are introducing electric motorcycles. This will complement other partners who are already working under the e-mobility project. which is more reliable and cheaper. We are at about 92% of green energy. We are working with our partners to fully exploit, reduce these LD centers will not move. You ensure that everybody loves it. You communicate well. You are sure that you save and we forget the boring culture. In that way, when we looked at other countries, where we have seen... Going discussions between the Nyadarwa border borders. This transport a menace, especially in town. Where we are here in Kem Towers, we look at it and we realize there are so many border borders out there. However, in 2022, we lost 4,000. We train these people. 
we can realize and make them a very good transport industry. Your Excellency, we can go as much as possible ensuring that our health centers... This is very tragic. In some of these cases, riders died because they could not access quality medical care as it comes. working. However, if we don't reduce the accidents, which will be less than the 500 shillings being paid presently, we will us not only in Nyandarwa but also across the country. <laughs> Esteemed managers and guests, the importance of You ensure that everybody loves it. You communicate. Circles and self-help groups have saved and invested in real estate and other sectors. The Nyandaru you ensure that you save and we forget the boring culture. In that I wish to commend the border border subsector across the country for the contribution to the economy. In our plan, we have a way, when we looked at other countries where we have seen that these transport are menace, especially as we enhance food security at in town. Where we are here in Kem Towers, we look at it and we realize there are so many border borders out there. However, if we train these people, we can realize and make them a very good transport industry. Your Excellency, we can go as much as possible ensuring that our health is... campaign. Campaign ikiisha, tunamatafuta in the next campaign. Kwa hivyo, mama county kufuwa na hii mpangilio kama hakuna siyasa inaendelea. ya kutumia hao vijana wetu wakati ya campaign wanakuja wanategeneza msafara wako wanarebesha ikiisha mpaka next election you are creating a livelihood for them beyond the elections Na nyinyi vijana pia hata nyinyi pia mjitafutie heshima. Kwa sababu siku ya campaign mnaletewa reflector by anybody mnao. Mnawacha. Mpisani wake akija na reflector ingine mnavaa mnafisindikisha yeye. Na hiyo ni muti ya kuanguka. Na mnajua kuna bahari anaenda. Pia lazima nyinyi mjitafutie heshima. You make a decision wakati ya campaign muangalie kwa sababu mko na network muvae reflector yule peke yake atashinda. Kwa sababu ukivaa reflector ile mtu anaanguka si mnaanguka pamoja. Sababu sasa mnakaanga wengi and you must live to that name. Si ndio? Ya pili tafadhali presiding bishop amesema it cannot be utaedesha pikipiki ukiwa mlevi utaanguka na utakufa na utawacha bibi na watoto utafujika mguu utatuita harambe ya kuweka waichuma that is the truth you cannot drink and 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 ride it cannot ile takataka yote kasia ile ya kuua watu ilizungumwa hapa kwa mlima Kenya 
na hiyo tunangangana nayo tunapigana and we are succeeding and i want to thank the leaders and chiefs we are 70% successful is still remaining 30% but there are some governors in this region who are to say na niliwaambia juice tukiwa pale sagana state to wipe out the entire generation at the right time i'll call them out by name mm. Mimi hakuna governor yote nitaunga mkono uchaguzi wa 2027 ambaye hajasaidiana na sisi kupigana na bombe. Sita kubana. Because hii watoto wakiisha where is the future of our region? We are almost losing an entire generation. And I think it was by design. Nafikiri kuna watu walikuwa wamepanga kumaliza population ya Mount Kenya kwa kuleta ile pombe baya na kuuza hapo bila kuuliza mtu ndio watoto wetu wote waishe. Vijana wetu walikuwa nakunywa pombe wanalala kwa mtaro. Wengine wameoa juzi bibi yako kwa kitanda kijana analala chini ya kitanda. Sasa si jamii geisha. Ndio mimi na hivi ngozi na wapi ngozi tukaamua pana na rais wetu. So I want to challenge our governors in this region ya kwanza ya Mount Kenya in the 11 counties. Those who are not willing to help us in this fight against drug abuse and alcoholism should not expect support from some of us. Na mimi hakuna microphone nitachukua kutetea mtu achaguliwe tena kama hutatusaidia kwa hivi vita. Because hata sisi wacha tujipende mimi regarding kashagua na mkubwa wangu William Ruto. Sisi tuko na ushawishi mkubwa katika Mount Kenya. Tukijipenda from a fairly selfish perspective presiding bishop. Mimi na William Ruto hivi jana wakiisha tutachaguliwa na nani? From a selfish perspective, wacha sasa kusaidia jamii mimi mwenyewe kuji, kujitetea. The youth are our supporters. Sasa wakiisha kwa hii bombe tutachaguliwa na nani? Hao wazazi wetu watasaidiwa na nani? Hii maneno tunajaribu kurekebisha ya ukulima nani atafanya kazi. Hii program ya boda boda itafanywa na nani? That fight is unstoppable and there is no compromise. And that one mimi I am not about it. Eh ndio tako hula rajo hii eketuma no. Eh eketuma no. Number 2 vijana wetu. I have told the police that border border riders are not criminals they are businessmen. Hata kama biashara yao ni kidogo ni wafanyi biashara. Waheshimike na wasihangaishwe, wasisumbuliwe. Lakini pia tufuate sheria. Let us follow the traffic laws. Number two, let us not allow border border riders to be infiltrated by criminal gangs. Because wakora wakijificha kwenu. Wanakuja kuibia watu, wanakuja kuvuja manyumba ya watu, wanachukua vibeti za akina mama saa ile wanatafutwa wengine ambaye hawahusiki watalaumiwa so you must be your own policemen among yourselves you must this group here the trainer of trainers lazima mujuane you know who is who and you don't allow criminal elements within your industry within your enterprise tumekubaliana vijana because mkikubalia wakora waingilie biashara yenu na watumie hii biashara ya boda boda kufanya ukora saa ile officers wa usalama wanakuja watakuja kusubuana na nyinyi na hasa kuna kile kikundi cha haramu kilisumbua sisi wakati amechuki hivi karibuni walikuwa wamejaribu kurudi huyo kiongozi yao ndio alikuwa ameshikana na hii watu ya azimio wakitaka kutumia hii vijana kwa mambo ya maandamano na sisi tukauliza vijana msikubali mtu yeyote kuvua hiyo kikundi haramu kwa sababu hiyo kikundi haramu iliumiza sisi. Waliumiza akina mama wetu wakawafanyia maneno ambayo siwezi hata Wakafanyia wasichana wetu maneno hatuwezi taja. Walikuwa naingia kwa, kwa duka ya mtu wanaitisha pesa at protection fee. 
walikuwa wanaingia kwa ngombe ya mtu na si yao wanakamua maziwa wanaenda kukula ugali naye na ngombe ni yako mtu anaingia kwako anakamua hata akamui yote anakamua ile peke yake anataka alafu anaenda hiyo we cannot allow it and i want to say this government will not allow the revival of that criminal gang and their leader should know that hata akijificha kwa watu yasimio will smoke them out that gang will not be allowed anywhere not just in the Mount Kenya region but in the country because is is a is a gang that was ruthless and they did things that are unthinkable in our community and we cannot allow the revival of that gang so tafadhali naomba nyinyi vijana wetu wa boda nyinyi managers go and train your people that that gang should not come anywhere niwa your industry in biashara and we want to support this as a purely business enterprise and it's a good business you are moving a lot of money in the economy so please stay off those criminals don't allow them wajificha hapo kwa kwa vijana wetu again mumesema vizuri we also want to have career progression hatutaki mkae juu ya boda miaka yote wale wamesoma tuwatafutie nafasi pia si ndio Yeah. I remember one time I was MP for Madera kijana ya boda boda akauliza kazi ya assistant chief nikasukuma akaandikwa sasa ni assistant chief akatoka kwa boda sasa yeye ni mtawala So those of you who have gone to school when these things are advertised pia muulize na mguu mkiangalia mtadao mkiangalia magazeti muzikae kwa boda throughout mtakosa kujua nini inaendelea Kenya You must take time also to know what is going on When there is recruitment of that please those who have papers apply and you will be given fair consideration so that you can also develop from that industry and move into something else Mimi nikimalizia nikusema nimemmsikia chairman umesema you are committee I'll give you an appointment mkuja tuketi si ndio Yeah let us come mkuja tuketi kukubaliane all those things you have said the challenges what to do tukimalizana na mimi nichukue nyinyi mmpeleke kwa rais William Ruto tuketi tukubaliane so si nyinyi our government is a consultative government sisi hatuna maringo hatuna madharau watu walikuwa wanasema hasa ni takataka boda boda ni takataka lakini mimi niko hapa na nyinyi because nyinyi ndio wenyewe you are the people mlitusaidia na kwa niaba ya rais William Ruto na mimi nataka niseme asante Mulisimama na sisi mlitusaidia na mkasaidia hao viongozi. Na tunataka mtusaidie hata pale mbele. Lakini pia lazima sisi turudishe mkono. Lazima turudishe mkono. Ona kitunyo mwana ndika kilio mugo kati go. Eh. Yeah. So lazima turudishe mkono. So kujeni tuketi. I am ready you come we sit we talk we discuss. Ndio tuone zile area ambayo mnataka msaidiwe na serikali we are there for you. Na sisi hatuwezi badilika. Rais William Ruto na mimi na wao viongozi hatuwezi badilika. Nyinyi ni watu wetu. When our faith told me to come I said I'll come. These are our people. We were with you. You held our hand when things were very difficult for us. Hamu kuacha sisi, mlisimama na sisi. Na sisi tutasimama na nyinyi. Tutasimama na nyinyi. Kwa hivyo mimi nimeshukuru sana kwa sababu tuko na mgeni President wa Indonesia na Rais nataka nikimbie. I wish you very good day. Musome vizuri. Musome vizuri na muandike na muende mufundishe wale wengine. And listen to what you are being told. Write down, go and train the others. You are good people, you are decent industry, tungetaka pia muheshimike kwa kuwa na ile tambia ambaye inakubalika. Na mkae vizuri na mufanye biashara na Mungu atawasaidia pia mtajirike. Dio siku moja bottom up ni kusema aliyekuwa ameandika ameajiriwa kuendesha boda boda asif pesa yake anunue yake. Akinunua yake aende naye anunue ingine na akiwa na hizo tatu afanye apate pesa anunue center atoke kwa boda boda aende kwa center hiyo center aendeshe anunue ingine mbili aandike wetu wengine watatu akiwa na hizo tatu afanya gas atoke hapo anunue box 
ile 14 sita aendeshe aendelee aendelee anunue zingine mbili andike watu wawili kutoka hapo anunue fuliti ya basis that is bottom up and it is possible Anze pale chini pole pole ukifanya kazi na bidii ukioba Mwenyezi Mungu 